Hello YouTubers, welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This video is the last video for my CyberArk 10.1 upgrade to 11.5 lab. In this series, I already upgraded Vault PVWA CPM to 11.5 and we did testing for all components, all looks fine. Today is the last episode to upgrade our PSM. Let's start it. The infrastructure is showing on the screen. We have Vault, PVWA CPM, PSM, and also AD server. Vault, PVWA CPM has been upgraded to 11.5. PSM is still 10.1. Let's take a look upgrading guide. So the first thing here, you need to make sure the user you are using to upgrade the PSM is not the owner for PSM or manage the session account safe. Let's take a look at that. This is our vault. I have logged in. The safe we are talking about is PSM on managed session account. If you look at the owners, there's a bunch of groups. Please make sure your user Admin1 is AD account. Admin1 is not in any of this group, especially Vault Admin groups. You can check that in your AD. You should have a Vault Admin groups in your AD. Please make sure Admin1 is not in that group. Okay, let's start our testing first. Please make sure all your component is working. Log into your PVWA. You can either use your LDAP account or CyberArk account. And using my built in administrator account to log in, you have to log off from your private R client. You can check your health status. The PSN service is not up. That's why it shows PSM is connect disconnected. We will keep like that since we don't need it to be connected. It's not up. Otherwise, all looks fine. In the guide, the first thing you need to make sure your user is not the owner of PSM or manage the session account safe. The second thing is to make sure the service is stopped, PSM service is stopped. After that, you can start the setup exe wizard. Right click setup.exe file, run as administrator. Yes. The install showed wizard will update the installed version of CyberArk PVM to 11.04. We are using 11.5 package, but uh, actually the version is 11.04. It's repairing Oracle Instant Client.
keep the same name. So what server IP and port? It's same. Type. Enter the protocol and hosting of PVWE. So PSM connect to the API camera. Next. PK authentication in the mutant is not PSM. Smart card. It's not used here. Dating vault environment. Okay, installation finished. Let's reboot the machine. PSM server has been rebooted. Let's look at the services. It is running. Go back to PVWA. System health shows this up and running. Account view here. Let's take a um, test. Let's show the password. We're going to do verify. Also for root one account, we're going to verify as well. It's verified. And now we can try to connect to it. Okay, it's trying to connect into 192.168.2.12. It's working beautiful. Note 1 account, it's verified. Let's do connect. Have been recorded. Both are working fine. 
we tested with some RDP component, PSM RDP and PSM SSH. Both are working well. We can also do verification for the count. Um, after you upgrade, you need to do the hardening. That will be completed by running a hardening script. If you haven't done that, you can go to installation folder and you can find out the installation automation. There's a hardening script here. You just need to follow the installation guide to run the hardening script. That's all for this video, and uh, this is also end of my CyberArk PAS upgrade in lab series. Uh, thank you for watching.